Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the month of August 2016. Uh, this month, I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore, so if you have not had a chance to check her out, definitely uh, do so below at the link in the description. Um, and other than that, a lot of you asked if I was still doing the extended monthly readings, and yes, you can get an extended reading uh, right here for the month of August. Uh, but this month, let's see what you have going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, uh, you start off with the Ace of Spades, very good card of overcoming obstacles and overcoming difficulties as well. It's a card of transformation, and, uh, you know, it's kind of like a death and rebirth card. It, it is a card that very much represents uh, Scorpio, you know, in a lot of ways. Um, you know, to me, Scorpio, a lot of people say, you know, is a scorpion or whatever, but really it's kind of like the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's that rebirth, so very much is represented by this card as well. Um, and this is a great card for new beginnings, starting new th new things. It looks like love is definitely on the table for you. I think love is turning around for Scorpio uh, in a lot of ways as well. <coughs> but definitely this month, uh, watch your health as well. Don't be like me. Don't, uh, you know, work like crazy and not take care of yourself and then get sick like I am. Like I have been for like three weeks with this crazy cold. But, uh, you know, you have two cards that represent that, watching your health as well. But also with this card, watch your health. You could be, you know, working a lot and, uh, you know, you could get some cold that lasts for three weeks. Uh, next, you have the Two of Clubs. Great card. A card of another great card of new beginnings. It looks like there's a lot of new stuff for you. I mean, I would say you have two aces. You have this card. You have two eights as well, which can represent like new things, starting new projects and stuff. So definitely a lot of new stuff to be had. Uh, but this is a great card for talking to yourself, figuring out uh, what you really need in life, and and then making that happen. And it's also a great card for, like I said, starting new projects, even new relationships, uh, new businesses. And um, it's even good for communication in relationships. Uh, that goes for love and uh, friendships and family as well. So you could have a lot of good communications with in those areas as well. Next, you have the Ace of Hearts. Another transformation card. It's a really good card. It represents uh, fortune after difficulty. So it represents good things happening to you after a difficult period of time. And it can also represent a, a want for love as well. I mean, you know, I know, like like I, I've said a million times in the past, uh, you know, I talked to a lot of you Scorpios. So uh, I know a lot of you have that desire for love, the want for a, a stronger relationship. So this is a good card because it can represent that starting up for you as well. And, um, this can also represent good news. Pay attention. I would say two aces. Pay attention to any messages you receive this month from anybody or even in your dreams and things. These cards can represent messages coming to you uh, that could be very beneficial for you this month as well. Next, you have the Eight of Hearts. Eight of Hearts is a good card. It represents like gifts from the universe. Uh, it, it can represent changes as well. And it also represents socializing. I'd say... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think it would be a really good month for you to socialize. I mean, it's always a good thing to socialize, but it's kind of highlighted here in your reading. So definitely get out there and try to meet new people. That will only benefit you this month. And this can even be a card of being swept off your feet. So a lot of you who are single and looking, this could be you getting like swept off your feet by somebody, meeting somebody uh, very important for you uh, as well. Uh, other than that, it's a great card for those of you who are in business, uh, or, you know, who have to do, who deal, or if you deal with, uh, even if you're not in business, even if you just deal with things like uh, contracts or getting clients or anything like that, it's a very good card um, for those things. Next, you have the Five of Spades, so watch your health uh, and, and definitely take care of yourself this this month for sure. Uh, this card also can represent a breakup, um, but uh, really, to me, it's not that much of a love card. To me, it's more of you breaking up with like a belief or you um, moving even. It can be a card of moving or changing locations or even leaving a job that kind of no longer helps you out as well. So a lot of you could be leaving things behind. And, and I will say it can also represent divorce, but... For those of you who that who are going through divorce, I mean, this card represents already kind of going through it, so it wouldn't be a surprise to you. Next, you have the Eight of Spades, a card of working but needing to watch your health. So this card comes up when you're working too hard and not taking care of yourself, so definitely don't let that happen. Take care of yourself, get plenty of rest, you know, and, and uh, don't get sick uh, with this card. And then finally, you have the Two of Hearts, really great love card, finding somebody who makes you really happy. Uh, who's like a perfect match for you. It's even like a soulmate type card. For those of you who are already in love, this could be deepening uh, in a relationship. And if you're not interested in love, this could just be you. Uh, and Well, I'll say 
you know, just looking at these. There's a lot with friends going on this month as well. So again, you could meet like a new friend or something like that that you really connect with uh, with this card. But looks like a great month. So thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your August.